Thanks for watching our cover of Paralyzer by Finger Eleven. If you want to show some extra support like our friend John Luke, click the link in the description to join our Patreon. Don't forget to follow us on Spotify where you can find this song and all of our other covers and originals. Remember to check out our website, first211.com, where you can find physical copies of all our cover CDs as well as t-shirts and hoodies. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on these songs you'd like to see us do down below. Holy shit! Honeysuckle's been killed, and everyone else has been captured. The fuck are we gonna do, dude? We have to go get Megan. Who? She's a human being who lives on the other side of the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, all right. <whistles> Megan. Megan? We need your help, Megan. Megan? What? Oh. oh. We need your help, Megan. Again? All the flutter ponies have been captured. Again? Will you come back and help us defeat the people and free our friend? Can't the other ponies help? They have also all been captured. Oh, You're the only one who can help, Megan. We need your human mungus brain and dexterous fingers to rescue them. Um... Okay. Hey. Nah, crap! Let the ponies go. The fuck are you supposed to be? No, I said let the ponies go. No. No way! Honeysuckle! Oh, hey guys. I thought you were killed! No. Help us escape, Honeysuckle! Yeah, alright. <laughs> ah! Holy shit! Honeysuckle's alive! And everyone else has been freed! The fuck are we gonna do now, dude? Eat. You love me? <laughs> Hello friends. How are you? How are you doing? Uh I hope you're having a good day. Uh I am getting my streaming stuff up. There we go. Where's my fontificator? How you doing? Are you ready? How you doing, Crumb? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Is this gonna be more weeb shit? I don't want peace. I want problems always. There you go. I don't want peace. I don't. <laughs> I want problems always. Um, I I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, <clears throat> I didn't I didn't come into stream. I've been thinking about it for a few days, and just I didn't come into stream with like a plan. So I'm just kind of here. See, I've got Popcat. Looking at you, Kyle. Add Popcat, damn it. Free it. Free the Popcat. Um, I might do this. I, I might do this. I don't I just don't know what, what the fuck to stream, man. I've got Final Fantasy 15 downloading. Because, like, you got to play it. Um, I kind of want to play some Hitman. Oh, I get, I get it. I know why. I know exactly why. Because <laughs> it is, it is really funny for like a few minutes and then like, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, it's in the way of the game. <clears throat> I 
it would be nice if there was a way i i would i would i wish their streamlabs had a way because the sources are the same i think because there's a uh there's an emote source um yeah the trigger fire i'm checking my own sources i can show you guys so down here, I have this I have too many sources. What is what is yeah? Oh, what's that one? Um, shout out current game game art. Oh shit! I probably don't need that anymore. What's the timer one? Yo, what's up, Retro? Oh, that's probably the live split timer. And I have the Streamlutes. Yeah, the Streamlutes Marathon timer. Um, Why do I have two main screen captures? I don't need this. Uh, but, 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 yeah, that it seems like there's only the one stream loot source. So that, that is one thing. It would be nice to be able to, um, to make like those reactions smaller. Cause I get the problem is you can't shrink the source. Um, and you don't want to make the cards smaller. So there's not really like a good way for him to combat like, people throwing reactions in the feed, which is unfortunate. Yo, Chris, no worries, man. I I appreciate it. Um, we'll see what we end up doing. Looking forward, I need to organize my OBS. I know, it's kind of organized, but yes, it could be better. Oh, we were just talking about the, so like Streamlutes has those reactions. Uh, where are my reactions? Take me sweet dad! Wait, why are these not playing? How do I test these? Thank you, Papa. Yeah. I know how to use folders. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. There we go, like that. Yeah. Why are why are the test ones not working? That's fucking weird. I also use trigger fire. Um Streamlabs is ass. We I think I think it's fair to agree. I just haven't had time to like detangle myself from uh from the streamlabs ecosystem yo what's up what's up sand showers is yang king yang wait is it yang ching i always pronounce his his name wrong yeah they all do they've all got issues trigger fire uh, has plenty of problems also, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna try, we'll try to just zoom in on this. Fuck off, ad. Yongqing. Um, but I figure I'd go ahead and do what I said I was gonna do in the Discord, which is rate these guys. No worries. Uh, I know we have to start with... This won't take too long anyway. Sampo goes in Sampo tier because Sampo is Sampo. Sampo tier is below trash tier because I hate Sampo. I hope you have fun. Yes, I do have VODs on. This space for rent. Streamlab sucks. I will happily write that. I am glad to have an alternative to... Uh, I love puzzles. 
Sampo stays in Sampo tier because Sampo is Sampo. Uh, stream. <laughs> Stram Labs. Stram Labs. Stram Labs sucks. Just want to stay home and play Final Fantasy. I do not blame you. Not ask. Is Sampo tier too high or too low for Sampo? Uh, it's probably too. It's probably too high for him. Uh, Sampo would not even be in the game if I had a if I had an option <laughs> to to remove him. Like I have, I have Sampo. He's level one, and he will probably stay on the bench forever. Even though I need a wind character. That isn't Don Hung. <clears throat> and I don't have Branya. So Asta is is uh, S tier for um Asta. Ooh, have I added you on HSR? Just get Branya. Yeah, no problem. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I think, uh, I, I think my level cap is 70 right now. Uh, Herda. Okay. I would put Herta in F tier because I never use her, and I don't think that she's that interesting of a character, the way she's written. Um, but she does have uh, Kudu Kudu, which is adorable and makes for a great alarm sound. So that honestly, I could put her in either C or D tier just because of that sound effect. So I'm going to go with D. Um, Clara goes right in trash tier because uh, I, I hate her character. Sorry, uh, Clara fans. Uh, Svarog, if he was an option, would be S tier. But since Clara and Svarog are basically a package deal, uh, and the only way to experience the bold, musky scent of Svarog is Clara. Uh, she stays in F tier for not letting us like have Japanese animes. for not letting us have Svarog as a character. <laughs> Can you post it in Discord? No, we'll just have to go back to the VOD and find it. <laughs> um. All right, Sela gets D tier. I don't like Sela that much. Branya is basically Sela but ice. I like her storyline. Honestly, I she could get she get she can get the B. <laughs> How do I get a timeout? Uh, I'd have to have one of my mods on. Yo, what's up, Barf? Stream tag weeb? Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, give me one sec. I'll add that. Weeb. I'll do it in all caps, too. Dude, I am so jazzed for final, for Front Mission 1 to be on Steam. Uh, cause I like, I like, um, what's it called? Uh, we're like, we're getting Star Ocean 2 on Steam, which is going to be awesome. <clears throat> oh, I know I don't have to. Um, okay. We're going to, 
Who's next? You saw that? What did you see? Okay. Um, oh, dude, Star Ocean looks awesome. I'm so excited for that. Are you guys excited for Star Ocean too? Because you should be. I'm trying to think of the people like... Okay. The, the Trailblazer gets an easy A because even though he's the blank slate slayer the player character they do a good job with the uh at least with the male one uh the voice acting is pretty good uh, for the lines they do get and uh you get a lot of snarky responses so they give him just enough personality that i'm like yeah i like this dude um and I realize that they're hampered somewhat by the fact that they have to be a little bit of a, a blank player character. Player characters are tough. Um, and I th feel like they did a really good job with the, player, the, the PC. I'm excited to finally have access to it again. Hell yeah. Um, as previously stated, Chingche is a S tier. She is a short stack. She... Uh, is like your only source for quantum damage. She's lazy as shit. Her voice actor is amazing. I fucking love her. Um, S tier for for sure. Um, Hook is a child, and children go in tr in the trash. Uh, ba ba ba. No, nah, I'm just I'm I'm in kind of like a weird mood today. Um I I woke up grumpy. I've been um like I I won't I I'm not going to cover the details cuz I I normally keep uh any sort of like life details out of things, but I will just say uh, that I was kind of rude to Cougar earlier, and I have apologized, uh, but I still feel like a dick. Um, and just, I've been kind of shitty and, and off today. So. Wait, this is a hotness tier? No, it's not a hotness tier. Uh, the protagonist does. I don't think the protagonist has a name, but they're just. I just call them like the Trailblazers. Uh, yeah, it's Honkai Star Rail. Love the Fem Trailblazer for being just NB enough. I could see that. I would honestly love to play. I should have picked the female Trailblazer personally, because I normally like playing as girls. But I really like the the male Trailblazer's design. Consequently, I assume they're their voice acting uh and all of that is roughly on the same scale um so i will put them at the same same rank but who's sila she's bronya's uh sister rip locket's ultimate character Yeah, I, I normally, like, any anytime I do something where I have feel like I've stepped out of line or whatever, I normally will brood on it for, like, a, a whole ass day. Um, Stella's short for Stellaron and the female. Oh, no shit, Kalis is the male. That's cool. Calling her batter. Batter up. I fucking <laughs> I love that. I honestly I would like to the protect the the protag's fire form though is really useful. Um Bailu Honestly Bailu's a good healer, but as a character, yeah. 
She's D tier. Um, Jing Jingwan. Nah, he's S tier. He's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I fucking love Jingwan. I have Bailu. She's good. I really like her abilities, but she's above child trash tier. I will say that. Um, her design and animations are really cute. Um, but man, I don't know. I don't like her voice actor that much. Yeah, he's great. Uh, okay. Serval, Serval. Serval. She's a cat. Um, I don't know. Like, early on, I would have said S or A tier. I like her storyline a lot, though. She's A tier. She's good. Um, she has a good storyline. Her moves are really good. She's a very good electric character. The problem that one of the problems this game has is there's too many fucking characters, too many electric characters right now. Fem Trailblazer is a deep enough voice, and the dialogue is still tomboyish. Flat chest design on just goes androgynous as fuck. I can see that. <clears throat> Every time Jing talks, so yeah. Give me a uh no. If she turns into a cat, you have to give her a plus four. Uh we do have a we do have a fox girl in here. No. There you go, Barf. You can... You can look... You can look respectfully at the fox girl. Or disrespectfully, I don't know, I'm not your dad. Solid 6 out of 10. Um, so, Third Impact is a different universe. I actually looked... Yeah. I looked up into the lore stuff and I guess they're all um, their own separate like branches of the same Hoyoverse. Um, Jepper. Jepperd is Sampo tier. Um, <laughs> I don't He's such he's he's fucking white bread. Jeopard is he's I want him I want him to have like something else to his personal personality other than just like Yeah. I'm just gonna say compared to Branya uh, or or Serval, he's a cutie. Like I don't I don't disagree with that. <clears throat> yes. But he's like not he's he's somewhere between like being not stoic enough like he's just sort of a dork. <clears throat> I don't I don't know if he does deserve to be on the same tier as Branya. I don't really have anybody in C tier either. I feel like that this is how I feel about him. He is a C he's C tier. He's good. He's fine. He passes. He does the thing. He serves his role well. <laughs> like, 
Branya is just slightly better than he is. I don't like not maybe not in battle or anything. I'm sure he's a great character in battle, but he's just This is bread tier. <laughs> Crust. <laughs> C for crust tier. <laughs> Bread tier. He's fine. I like him. C isn't bad. It's just, you know, it passes. A C grade is fine. Uh, I honestly, okay, so hot take, I think Natasha is kind of C tier. Um, so here, there she is, the doctor. I like everything about her. I want to like her better. She's a doctor. She has a fuck off grenade launcher. Uh... And she's, and you know, mommy energy and all that, right? She's got long blue hair. Like everything her, everything about her design. I'm just like, I fucking love her. I love, I love the shit out of her. Um, but it's like too much. Does that make sense? She feels like overstimulation the character like you can't be this good <clears throat> problem is my team is yang Ch yang why why do i struggle with his fucking name the most she can heal you <laughs> yeah Yes, they do have English VAs, and the English voice acting is actually very good, Barf. <clears throat> Except for Kafka, maybe. And Silverwolf. I don't like their... But I also maybe just don't like their writing. Um, we'll, get, we'll get to those. She's a B tier. I like her. I, uh, she's good. Mommy Natasha's good. But she's just like, she's like, I also like her storyline a lot and her brother. Her like whole thing with um, him being like evil and causing problems. I feel like the VA would plus or minus. Her VA is good. Uh, also prefer March over Natasha. Yeah, she later later on healing is pretty essential, but um, like when you get into like super long drag out fights, but for for most of the game, uh, you can you can get by without. YouTube ads for Natasha feeling like a porn game confuses you. Wait, what? Dude, Sampo's voice. I yeah, I hate he his like weird Adam West slash Patrick Warburton, but not really. Like he's one of the best examples of like the we have a. Uh, we have X at home. Pella's fine, but she she can she can stay in C tier because I I think her kit's probably good, uh, but I haven't played with her at all, and I really she just kind of seems like generic smart girl to me so far. I really haven't interacted with her much. It's just six seconds of the weirdest zoom. I mean, I know what her move looks like. Her move is that, because her move, like, starts on her boobs. For some reason. 
I mean, we know what the reason is, but I mean, like, it's weird that it's every time. Nice to meet you. I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor. Feeling sick? Nice to meet you. I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor. Feeling sick? I don't... I don't... <laughs> Maybe the mushrooms... I... Yeah, I don't get it. I don't blame you for not liking that ad. Yeah, I like Natasha, though. You know, uh, I want to move her up a tier. All right, this dude seems cool. He carries a coffin around and summons the undead. <laughs> but he's also a healer. But I don't know enough about him, I feel like, to really rank him. No context, it seems like a porn game. Yeah, I get that. There's a worse one. Oh my god, yes, please. Please show me the worst. Give me the worst. So Lucha... I'm, I'm going to predictively put him in S tier. This is probably gonna... That's my most controversial... I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna argue that that's my, my most controversial possible pick. He seems cool as shit. But I don't know enough about him. So this this is a this is a chance. I'm taking a chance on that. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you do Don Hung's um, uh, ba 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 ba, his side stuff in the uh, Sien show, um. His, uh, he, I, I'm almost positive he mentions he follows the path of abundance, um, and his role in those battles is as a healer, but he also has, like, that weird offensive, uh, opening the coffin and summoning the undead move. So, yeah, I think that's cool. I think dudes that drag coffins around are cool. You can quote me on that, I guess. Um, Ice Boy is precious and perky. Uh, and is a, has a really good kit. Uh, he is extra damaging. Uh, he is a non-entity as far as the story goes, and I don't really like his laugh. Yo, what's up, B? Hello, hello. Um, I actually agree with you on Hook's character design. I just find Hook insufferable as a as a person, but I also find children generally insufferable. Um, Clara and Hook are in trash tier for being unlikable. Uh, not necessarily for being children. But I do, I actually like both of their character designs. Like visually, I think they both look great. That's one thing uh, Star Rail, I think, has done very well as character designs. I think they're, I cannot think of a character Um in the lineup that I don't like their design. Maybe her. She is she is the most C tier ass character. <laughs> what with the Sampo is all. There's Sampo. Please enjoy Brooks. Thank you for uh thank you for 
Thank you for stopping by to say to you to say that. Love a good ranking. You have no clue what this is. It's Honkai Star Rail. Um, so these are all the available characters in the game. Uh, it's going to go pretty quick after this. Oh, also, Welt is S tier. Uh, well, Daddy Welt. Actually, this game has a lot of good daddies. Um, dude, Sushang's really fucking good. She's an amazing uh, breaker if you've got somebody who is weak to physical. Um, she is like, uh, she's such a fu- she's so useful, but she is boring as a person. <laughs> I also don't really care for her design. Um, and that's sad. Because otherwise I like it. I like her sword. I like that she uses a straight, uh, I can't remember the name of those swords, but I, I like it. Um... Fox Girl gets gets a solid B tier. Uh, also useful. She's kind of a bitch, but I sort of like that. Um, please don't judge me or read too much into that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. March. March might need her own tier. March gets to be in the weirdo tier. She's useful in battle, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about March. She gets the weird mascot tier. Weird mascot, but okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. all right. This will this will go a lot quicker from there from here. Uh, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who this guy is either. All right. That leaves us with Don. Man, I don't know how to, how to feel about, uh, about Don Hung. He's pretty cool though. I like that he's also like, de he's autistic as fuck. A, he gets to be an A for autistic. He's a C tier. Nah, he's not a C tier. Um, I don't even remember her name. She can she can be an A tier. She can be an A tier because I haven't pulled her. Her fucking super move is my favorite. I love it, but she hasn't joined my party. Himiko, that's who it is. She is an S tier mommy. Welcome to the Astral Express. She is mommy as fuck. This doesn't have a clear destination because every passenger's destination is unique. I'm sure we're about to embark on a fascinating journey together. I have 
have something for you. Combat is a series of precise matters. I mean... One at a time. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. Trailblazing means that every step we take is a step closer to the stars. That is my answer. And your trailblazing journey has just begun. Yeah, she can step on me. S tier for step on me, mommy. <laughs> We're in space. I opened the game and Arlen broke HIPAA laws. <laughs> Texting me Arlen. Uh, Arlen also, by the way, Arlen also gets S tier, uh, for just being a sweet boy who puts up with too much. Um, I love him. Uh, Silver Wolf gets to be the only other character that shares weird mascot, but okay, with March, because she's cringe as fuck. Um, like, hello, fellow gamers. So yeah, she 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 gets weird mascot, but okay. And Kafka, uh, so Kafka is literally the background of my phone right now. Um. Where's the, I don't know if I should look up a Kai Riot. Hold on. We're gonna make sure I don't NSFW. Okay, there we go. This is my phone's background right now. Um, because I fucking love this piece of art. Yeah, so that's that's how I that's how I feel about Silver Wolf too. I want her because she can add weaknesses, which is an amazing ability. Um But man, I just do not like her. But yeah. Boom, baby. Um uh, this artist, by the way, at Kai Riot, they they do a lot of really good stuff. Um I get it, but I know they do some some NSFW art, so like that's one of those. Eh, be a little, little careful. Um. Anyway, I just cannot stand every time Kafka talks, even though I really like her style and general. Generally, her whole deal within the game is kind of interesting. With her basically just being somebody that gets communicated visions of the future. And everything is planned along that. Like, she has a real, like, heist. Kind of cool heist character thing going on. I think I just don't like her VA that much. Yeah, her voice is supposed to be sexy, but she mostly sounds bored. Or, like, kind of sleepy. And, I mean, if you find bored and sleepy sexy, I guess that's... <clears throat> yeah, I feel pretty good about this list. Daddy Well, definitely. Um...
<laughs> this fucking thumbnail. Please save it and post it to Discord. Oh, I plan on it. Wait, does he have a trailer? If you're ever at a loss during your trailblazing expedition, the all know Mr. Yang is your go-to person. What is this? Who, from historical research to animation production, this dependable senior crew member is the encyclopedia of everything. What is this narration? Of animation. If Mr. Yang had a starring role in his own series, he'd be mm, the reliable uncle, only revealing his strength in moments of crisis. Please enjoy Locket. By all means, enjoy. Welt is an imaginary type fighter, following the path of Nihility. He uses Star of Eden to manipulate gravity in battle. Welt's basic attack, gravity suppression. I expected. I, I, th there's nothing wrong with the narrator himself. He's fine. He's excitable. I just expected a similar trailer to like Kimiko's. I wanted to hear Welt's voice. His ultimate is ridiculous. Welt uses his ultimate synthetic black hole to unleash Star of Eden's power and draw his enemies into a black hole. All enemies receive imaginary damage with a chance of becoming imprisoned. It's fucking cool. Anyway, there we go. There's my definitive Honkai Star Rail tier list. Uh, I will save this. And I'll put that, post that to the Discord later. All right. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Actually, you know what? I'll pl since I've got since it is the title, and I still have to do some dailies anyway. I'll do a little bit of Honkai Star Rail. Yo, what's up, Cougar? Thank you. Nineteen months. Wow. Welcome back. Thank you so much for GR1 blinks shake. Thank you so much for the resub. And I love you. Everyone loves Cougar. As they should. Um, why is it doing this? Oh no. Oh no. Is my fucking controller going out? Hey, look. They're, they're twins. They're twins. I oh shit. Dude, my stick. My right stick is moving on its own. If only I got paid more. Hi Peppy. That's a that's a fucking bummer. It's not always doing it, but if I don't do any inputs. then that's a problem. This guy wants parts for various uh, enemies. I've been bringing him, bringing him parts to that end. Um, 
Okay, we can do a Calyx. We'll do two. Actually, what supports... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me scroll up in chat. I'm going to add sun and showers. Wins. Wind request. Um... Oh no, it's too too high up in the chat. It has been scrolled off. Oh, it, it is in the Discord. Yes, okay. Friends, friend request sent. Thank <laughs> you for the bonus tentacle. Tentacles are important. Little tentacles between friends. Um. I'll just get more of the same. That's fine. Ah, uh, who should I improve? Yeah, what time? Dude, Retro Bear, what time is it there? Tentacool. I really want to, I really want to improve Pella. But I... I'm committed to making the team that I do have as good as I can make them. Which means I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of material farming. 2.30 in the morning, damn. Yeah, dude, get some sleep. You don't need to eat, you need to take a nap. It's mainly, so the problem with something like this is it's really easy to get scatterbrained and try to spend time, because every aspect of your characters can be leveled up in some way, right? So, um, so for example, uh, if I just pick Asta here, this fucking stick is going to drive me insane. Actually, hold on. I'm going to see if I can 
use my other controller. I bet I have to try cleaning that controller. See if that fixes it. We'll use the dual shock for now though if it works. <sighs> dual sense, whatever. There we go. So for at in Asta's case, so obviously I've got her normal level up, which is just straight general increased. I d I may I'm doing this be just because but like barf and i know some other people in here may not be familiar with this game but like i can just level her up and that improves her stats and then you've got these light cones which are basically um add an, add a specific ability that characters can use in battle so like for astas this one increases her break attack which is basically her stagger in battle by 28 percent and regenerates energy which is great and it also has a stat boost associated with it. I always have a bottle of 99% IPA on hand. I mean, I have a uh, clean... Uh, um, what are they called? Rubbing alcohol. And stuff. Um, and then you've got traces, which are basically individual permanent stat boosts. Or, in some cases, ability boosts. So like ignite all enemies, fire damage increases by 18%. And then you've got basically six pieces of equipment, which can also be leveled up individually and all have their own skills and stat increases there, which you can mix and match for different reasons. Uh, Idolins, you don't really have any control over, but considering you have so many different things to keep track of per character, uh, it's really easy to get to sort of improve, don't use consumer grade, 70%. The water content and moisturizer fucks with it. Okay, good. Okay, I will have to get some other stuff then. Thank you for the heads up on that. Also, B, I appreciate you lurking out at work, even even if it means you can't harass properly. But that's that's partially why I say like I'm I'm kind of committed to making improvements to the existing team and then just sort of moving out from there. So I've got like six or seven characters that I use the most often currently. And what I need to do is just make them as good as I can make them. Medical grade, alcohol works wonders, dries really fast too. And I don't know for sure, like, I don't know why I'm getting drift on my, on my right analog stick on the Xbox controller. As long as it has the least amount of water content, okay. I hate taking controllers apart, but I also really love this controller. So I'd prefer not to, but if there's a way, if there's something I can do to it to make it function properly, Analog sticks have a type of metal, depending on environment use, that warps and wears off the plating. Okay. I 
Under combat. I just did... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I'm standing in front of it. Like an idiot. I should be fine. Oh, I love thee. Here, this thunder. Well, right, you can br uh but 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 you'll get it once you hit a certain um uh but 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 star blazer rank. Yeah, those adaptive triggers and high quality analog stick parks like the magnetic ones Sega used back in the 90s. Yeah. Lance of Blaze. Flaming Lance. Forward. Yeah, God forbid that you use uh... that. I agree with. I've I've cleaned controllers without opening them up before. And yeah, that's usually what I do is push buttons and wiggle them around and all that. Okay. Uh, what's the most expedient way to do this? Yeah, we'll go see the big wub, big wubadoo or whatever. Choose when to strike. Oh. <laughs> Customers are always welcome. All the best. You used to get a two pack of the tiny bottles, second one's deoxid gold. I'm on guard. Version one Xbox controller ahead of the stick drift. That's good. I appreciate the advice, guys. Alright, she's already boosted somebody else's ability, so she's just good to attack. DOT and break. Play hard, win big, keep quiet. Come on. Better late than never. <laughs> I'm on guard. Your 
All right, we're gonna use Ching Wan's ultimate on Ching Che. Look at the draw. Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, because the D-pad, dude. I hate, I hate not being able to use the D-pad in menu selection. It that infuriates me. Price definitely went up. I mean, if it fixes the problem and I don't need to replace a controller, that's worth it to me. I mean, 20 bucks is pretty fucking steep, but... do it at the time. Alright, where am I going? I mean, I don't expect any of them to last forever, you know? But yeah, the, the, you can definitely tell, like, uh, older controllers, it's like, huh. And I get, like, a lot of older controllers also didn't use analog sticks, and analog sticks are usually the things that, you know, we end up having issues with. But still... <laughs> It just feels mostly like controllers are being made shitty on purpose. And I'm not saying that they are, but I'm definitely not going to say that they're not. Oh yeah, we keep an old toothbrush around for cleaning. Oh, as a side note, side note to anybody that actually plays Honkai Star Rail, uh, I guess, or even if you don't, I don't know if you noticed this, but whoever is your party leader, all of their phones are different. Like, every one of them pulls out a different... Uh, a different case, they have different sizes. They have different designs on them. Different camera placements. It's cute, it's a nice detail. Parts that exist that last longer than the current parts being used. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Well, 
keep quiet. The thing that gets me is just like controllers are fucking 70, 70 plus dollars nowadays. And it's just like, so they've gotten significantly more expensive, but they've gotten worse in quality. Like, fuck off. Like, I don't mind, like, fuck it, get, if my controller's a hundred dollars, and it's a good controller, I'm gonna use it for them. years, um, particularly on, like, PC, you know, it's not like I'm limited to a console lifespan, I'm good with that, I'll pay a hundred dollars for a controller, but I don't want it to fucking go out in six months. Um, because you guys decided to cheap out on parts and then charge me fucking eighty dollars for a controller for ten dollars worth of parts. I'm on guard. Yeah, that's insane. That's look, listen, feel. That's just not okay. Stick drift in two weeks, Jesus. Like, I'm all about, I am all about investing in quality. I will pay more for a quality product. But I'm not... But I'm gonna be pretty pissed if I'm not getting a quality product. Sorry, this is a little loud. Trailblazer 20 to 28, that's, yeah, that's big. <clears throat> Remember when the PS5 came out, somebody made a disassembly video, saw the parts, was like, yeah, these fuckers will stick drift in a week. Yeah, and that's, that's infuriating. Because the worst part is, like, the DualSense is a nice controller. It's a well-designed controller. It feels good in the hands. It's hefty. It has nice button travel. It, it's, by all accounts, a well-made product. And then you use the cheapest possible parts, and you've just negated everything positive that I could possibly say about your controller. And it just sucks. Oh yeah, I by no it's all of them. It's fucking in Nintendo, it's Microsoft, it's Sony, it's it's everyone. They're all doing this shit. And like that, this kind of thing is like what lawsuits are for.
Like, fuck them, you know? They deserve every bit of shit they get for it. Yeah, that would be the other thing. If you're going to make a cheap controller, cool, fine. A, don't charge that much for it. Um, and B, yeah, let me fix it. Don't use some bullshit ass uh, proprietary screws on it. All right, I think we're about good on dailies. Let's see what our daily text message is. Why is it bad luck? I am blown away by how much fucking dialogue is in this game. Like, I don't, I don't mind reading, but, uh, I'm just, I'm amazed, because it's a lot of work to come up with all this stuff. Yeah, this should be fine. Show no mercy. And also after that, I did that mission, they give a bunch of text dailies, including one where they're trying to do rumors of Asta. Yell at Herta. Feels like he stumbled into a Discord server. Yes! I actually, I love the text messaging in the game. Um, a lot of it's, a lot of it, Manages to come off as fairly genuine or or funny. Need to get another set of bits for stuff like that. Used to have two game bits and a tri wing, but they were misplaced. Yeah, I had a I had a nice little uh, screwdriver set, and I don't know what happened to it. Torque for Xbox and PlayStation, game bet for Nintendo stuff. Trying to trail place through this game so your phone doesn't turn off from overheating. Yeah, it can be, this is pretty graphically intense to run on a phone. I, which is, I'm not trying to rub it in because I know you're still without a PC. But that's honestly why I mostly play this on the computer. <clears throat> Here. Thunder. 
Oh, I, I know. Indestructible. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't. I haven't messed with any of the eye fix it stuff. I know a few prominent, um, uh, like tech YouTubers advertise for eye fix it a lot. Conflict is pitiless. But uh, have not personally had any. Any experience with their stuff? Heed my word. Show no mercy. It's just a rebranded AliExpress kit. Is it really? Here, this thunder. Get sponsored before you get one. A gift from the stars. That's funny. Not a scratch. Well, time to go on AliExpress. Jingwan does such big damage. You get the same bits for Ethel, right? Yeah. I should invest in a new like toolkit at some point. My word. Show no mercy. Just for small electronics. Okay. Conflict is pitiless. I'm just gonna speed this up. I think after this we'll play something else. Because at this point there's not really a whole lot I can do. I've, I've functionally finished the story of this game. Um, which is good. I like the story. But until they bring something new out and new areas, there's not really a whole lot to do except level up to do like high level end game stuff. Which I'm not gonna lie, like is fine. I just kind of wish there was a little, little bit more variety once you hit the the kind of end game. Like I would, I my advice would be to anybody that's interested in Honkai Star Rail is. Just, especially if you're more interested in the story itself, is don't don't try to rush it too much. Take your time and enjoy it, because once you hit the end game, there's there's nothing to do except level up.
And it's fun to make big number go big. Show no mercy. <laughs> With that conflict, it's pitiless. They're not. It's all about the story, really. It's about both. Who am I kidding? Big number feel good. It's like saying first-person shooters are, are about, uh, I don't know, are about anything other than just killing dudes. Okay, what do I need for her? Ast is pretty close. She is now fully improved, or what I, her light cone is level 70, her abilities are leveled up. I just need to work on relics for her. What a fun game. It is. It's just an enjoyable game to run around in. And enjoy. I think they've done an excellent job with Honkai Star Rail. Uh, so Final Fantasy XV is done. And Andy is playing right now. So we could start 15. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 